Hello everybody, this is Heidi's a dog and this is a Cinema 4D tutorial. So, what it is about is uh, cutting out the background when you render Cinema 4D 3D texts. So, instead of it being like this, uh, text, like this is a bad example, but instead of it having like a background or something, it will oh god damn it I'm button bashing it will be like far out this with a clear background now there are many ways of doing it but before I knew the ren like the way to do it while in cinema 4D I used to get the magic wand tool and you know hold shift and cut out all these little spots and it just it it's a piece of crap. It doesn't work. It's such a pain to do. And you'll get rough edges and... Yeah, it's just not good. So, this is the best way to do it. And... Let's get into it, guys. Alright, so, you want to open up Cinema 4D. And click on this button here. This is Render. Render Settings. You can also probably go Render Settings somewhere here. Render Settings like that. But... I am using... Uh, Cinema 4D R12, not the new one, but I, I'm not sure there might not be much difference. So, hope this helps. So, I'm just going to go through my render settings for to cut out a background, to cut out the black background or whatever you have, and for a really nice HD look, and it has all these nice effects and stuff. So, let's start. Uh, in rend while we're in render settings, you want to go general, full render. I'm just going to go through all these. Output 1280 pixels by 720 pixels, and resolution shall be on 72. And I'm pretty sure you can just keep everything the same, but I'll go through it anyway. So your film aspect, it's 1.778 HD TV. Pixel aspect one square pixel. Frame rate 30 frame range you want it on current frame so it doesn't like just keep rendering and rendering all the same picture then save save it wherever you want I'm just gonna save it to the desktop under tute or tut whatever uh, format PNG depth 8-bit name pff, I don't know just leave it whatever it gives you and this is the important part this is what cuts out the background I don't know why or whatever but it does and you want to select alpha channel so you want the little tick in there and you can also select 24-bit dithering whatever I don't know I think that's default multipass you want to have that unselected anti-aliasing you want it at best still image with threshold at 10% minimum level 1 by 1 maximum level 4 by 4 Use object prop properties ticked. Uh, consider multipasses unticked. Small fragments hybrid, and that MIP scale 50%. But I think most of that's default as well. And then options, just keep it all the same. Now, as you can see here, you probably don't have any of these here. That's because they are an effect. So to add an effect, you want to go click on the effect button find the effect that you want to add so the effects I've added are global illumination caustics ambient occlusion depth of field and color correction and once you found them just click on them and they should appear here and I just leave mine all at the default settings um, I don't really know what they do but they make the text look nice if you've got lights and stuff yeah whatever makes it look good and that's pretty much your render settings to cut out a background now if you want to save this so you don't have to do what we just went through every single time you want to make 3d text you can go render settings uh, save preset click it and then you can choose whatever you call want to call it and it's it's there you can every time you make text you just close this go click on this go uh, you click on render settings then go render settings button 
load preset and whatever setting you want click it and you're good to go and I'll just do a little uh, basic text here so we'll go mo graph mo text Heidi put it at 80 put it in the middle we'll put fill it cap 3 3 fill it cap 3 3 and just make a quick color or material so if you want to do that in this materials box double click and you can double click that and it will come up with this choose a color there's all these different settings but I'm not going to go into detail on them maybe in a later tutorial drag it on and then what you want to do is just click this middle button here the little orange box with the snappy thing whatever it's called click that and it will render it out for you oh, actually wait up I'm just going to stop this and turn global illumination off because I think it only works if you have a light source and it also takes a long time to render so we'll just turn global illumination off wait for this to render well while, while we're waiting won't take long uh, open up Photoshop and just make a new canvas 1280 by 720 pixels and a white background if you'd like pretty basic stuff and that has finished rendering and now you can just go file open find where you saved that text here it is and there you go see it's got a it's got no background so you can just put that in to whatever you want like in a YouTube background and you don't have to worry about the background or cutting it out and you can just click just make a little random piece of crap background yeah there see uh, that's pretty much it guys hope this tutorial helped uh, it's pretty basic but it's just one of those things you need to know it's great helpful everything for making 3d text and other graphic stuff so thanks for watching guys uh, I hope this helped like I said and also oh well yeah and also please uh, in the comments uh, write down what you would like to see from me because I'm a little bit stuck I don't know if you want speed arts or intros or I don't know tutorials and if you do write something down uh, please put a little description of what you'd like say like uh, intro making tutorial or something I don't know how to make a basic intro uh, or even a YouTube background I might do that but yeah thanks for watching please rate and a thumbs up because that's helpful and comment if you liked or whatever I don't really care just don't thumbs down because that's bad <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later bye